we ever hoped for. Damn straight. This could be the night for us. I've got an angel who comes to me to make sure that I'm all right. I've got an angel, an angel with brown eyes. What could be better? A princess? No way. How about a movie actress? About a week ago I was watching Silence of the Lambs. You got to think about how pretty Jodie Foster is. Yeah, she's a real pretty actress. But it's kind of like you got your actresses. And then way up in heaven, above, that's where you got your angels. And that's what I've got. I've got an angel. Well, this could be everything we ever hoped for. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This could be the night, the night for us. The two of us will keep a chopping with his bow. And he made my life so wonderful. And he shot me with his arrow and made sure that I did care. Oh, keep a chopping in my heart. And he gave to me a brand new start. Keep it shot me and I'm glad he did from his ear I did not hit. No way. But keep it shot me in the night, alright. Shot me in the day, hooray. Well, Cupid is a righteous dude, and I'm so glad for everything that he do. <laughs> Well, I have got one request. In fact, I have got a quest. And that is to be your Superman. And you can be my little slave. We'll go walking on down Lover's Lane. See all our troubles go straight on down the um, thing that water goes down. And we will always have a smile. Never have no sad look on our faces because we will have a love that time cannot erase. Sis. And we will take it on up to the um, pinnacle and I'll even buy some con candy. And won't that be dandy? Then we'll jump in the station wagon, take it up to the North Pole, sit there on Santa's knee. Just you and I. And I want to be your Superman. Today and forever. Well, this could be everything we ever hoped for. Everything. This could be the night for us. But it wasn't always like that. A couple years ago when I'd be happy and I would seem like there was some kind of limit to my happiness. When my heart would jump, it only jumped like about so far and there's always something stopping it. It's not like I had it that bad. Still had the radio, the TV. I could walk over to my refrigerator, get some Coca-Cola, get some pizza. But still something was lacking until the minute that I saw her and that everything Every damn thing was changed for the better. It's kind of like a little, tiny little bit like she was a doctor. She made an incision so my heart could jump right on my body. Then she got out a ladder, carved a hole in the ceiling so our love would know no bounds. That's the kind of angel I've got. And crafty. Do you want to know how an angel kisses? Do you want me to tell you how an angel kisses? Cool. Real.
Run on it.